Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today is going to be a little different. Today I'm going to show you how to watermark your video. This is very quick and it's an easy tutorial. And I suggest that once you've mastered what you've seen here today, that you experiment with your, with your Movie Maker program so that you can build on your skills and have a more creative watermarking or whatever it is that you want to do with your videos. And so, let's begin. This tutorial is for those using Windows operating system. We're going to begin by opening our Windows Movie Making Program. We're coming to our Start menu, scrolling up to where it says Window Movie Maker. If your Window Movie Maker icon is not available here, then go back down to All Programs and scroll till you find your program. Mine is here. I'm going to open it. Here I've taken the opportunity and preloaded some photos. Once you have your media here in the imported media section, right here, you can then drop and drag your media into the timeline which is here. Okay, I'm going to drop these slides, these photo slides, right into our timeline. These are just about five slides of me. You probably have already seen these slides before. And we have five slides here in the timeline. Once you have your slides in the timeline, whether it's your whether it's your photo slides or text slides or a mo a video, you can then click on the slide at the beginning here. Starting here, make sure your timeline bar, this green bar right here that I'm moving, it's going to be very important to you. Make sure it's at the beginning of your video. Come over to play. Make sure your video plays. You'll you'll know it's playing when you see the blue button here moving across your slides and you'll see your slides changing. So we know now that the video will now play and we shouldn't have any problem there. Stopping it. Now we're going to watermark this video. Coming up to where it says tools. Click on tools and scroll down to where it says titles and credits. Click on Titles and Credits. Before we type in our watermarking text, just come back down to your video timeline, which is right here, and bring your green timeline bar back to the beginning of your video. This is where you need it to be. If you choose to watermark from the very beginning, you'll want it where it says at the zero mark. So I'm going to just move mine over a little bit because I want you to see the transition build from not having a watermark and when the watermarking appears. Okay, going back up to where it says title on the selected clip. Here, we're going to click here, and this is going to take us to where we can type in the text that we want to type in that identifies our video. So with me, you guys know I'm going to type Desi 1016. And there it is. That's how it will appear on the video until I make changes. Let's play it again. That's how it will appear. Okay. So for me, I'd like to change the title animation. So clicking on where it says change the title animation, here is a variety of different types of 
animation that may appear um, on videos. We've seen these on YouTube and on blog sites. You just click on whatever animation you want. That that one was mirror. This one is fade clip wipe. Let me just open this up a little bit. All right. And scrolling up to the title that I use the most is the subtitle. Clicking on the subtitle, I'm going to click on subtitle. Subtitle is going to allow my text to appear at the lower half of my video. So once I get my text here, I know I'm satisfied with it. And so I'm going to move on to where I'm going to change the font and the style. Of well, I'm not going to change my color, but I'm going to change the style of the, of the text. Here where it says font, I usually go right to this arrow here, click on that, and I just simply scroll up to where it says David. Let me do that really quickly. Where it says David, click on David, and now my font, my font style has changed. I usually like to italicize my font. I'm sorry, right here. It's italicized, and I usually like to bold it. And now it's bold. Now. I can also change the position of this font. I can have a left alignment or right alignment or I can leave it in the center. I'm going to change my position which is right here. This is the the left alignment. This is your center alignment and this is the right alignment. I'm going to click on the right alignment and it's going to move over. This is where I usually like to have my watermarking right here. And the, the last thing that I do before I add it to my video, I'm going to make the color less bright. I'm going to fade it a little bit. And I do that by going to, still on that same page, transparency. And I'll bring the transparency bar over to about 30, 35, 36, that's where I like it. And now I'm going to make it a little lighter. And it just gets less and less intense. So sort of just like fades into a slight watermarking. As you can see, it's going away. You can have it as light as you want or as intense as you want. It's completely up to you. Okay, now I'm satisfied with that, and I'm now I'm going to add this watermarking to the video by clicking here where it says Add Title. Once we click there, our watermarking is right here. If you want your watermarking to appear throughout your whole video, you're going to have to drag this, this little box open hold your icon over this little box until you see a double red arrow left click your mouse and drag it open holding the left side of your mouse down and just simply drag open that little box and now that little box is virtually the length of our video the watermarking is in place going back to the beginning of our video Make sure that green bar is at the beginning and we're going to play the video where we can see how the watermark is going to appear. Let me pull out a little bit and we're going to play the video. You can see there's no watermarking yet and there it goes. And there's your watermark and it should play throughout the whole video because you've opened that small little box across the length of your video.
this is your watermarking box right here and all we did was we waited till we put this icon over till we saw the double red arrows and you can have it as long or as short as you like don't forget to left click your mouse you can open it or close it as much as you like it's completely up to you so if you have any questions about anything that you've seen today please feel free to leave a comment on the comment wall and I will get back to you as soon as I can leave your comments let me know what's going on and I'll do my best to help you guys out so with that said you be well and I will see you soon